Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy. So we are going to start out with doing some laundry. I just always like to do the laundry first because I feel like it's working while I can be doing other things. So that's one of my first tips for you. If you are cleaning house or something, go ahead and start with doing a load of laundry first. And while that's washing, you can go on and be doing something else. So I'm just spraying all of Kaysen's bibs uh, from where he spit up on them. I'm spraying them with some OxyClean spray and just gonna toss those in the washer, get that going. And then I'll jump into the living room and start cleaning that up. This video was filmed quite a while ago. It was actually filmed um, on July 3rd, so the day before 4th of July. And if you guys watched my last grocery haul, then you know that I actually was sick on 4th of July, so we didn't have everyone over. So it was like I did all this cleaning for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of this mess was Amelia stuff. So I had her help me out and pick up everything and put it back where everything goes. And of course, we had some toys that were caissons as well. So just tidying up the living room and getting things picked up and put back in their proper place. So you're going to see me stopping a few times to go play with Kaysen. He was such a good baby on this day. I got so much stuff done. Normally I have to carry him around or whatever. And on this day, he was so good. He stayed in his little swing thing there for a while. So right here I am using my Mrs. Myers rosemary scent. I haven't used that scent in quite a while. So I thought I would go ahead and use that. On my little glass top table I got this table from home goods a while back and I loved it but I will not get glass or mirrored topped tables ever again because as you saw there were a ton of fingerprints on it so Kaysen had spit up um, in his car seat and it was uh, I usually don't wash his car seat until the weekend and it had been a couple of days. I know that's gross, but I just don't like washing it during the week because if for some reason we have to go somewhere in a hurry or something, I don't have his car seat there and ready. So I usually just wait until the weekend because I know that we're not going to be going anywhere unless obviously an emergency or whatever, but you know what I mean. So I just do want to mention that I am recording uh, this voice over outside on the patio in the evening so hopefully it's not picking up the air conditioner running and all the bugs i just wanted to sit out here and just enjoy the peace and quiet and enjoy the weather while i could because it feels really good right now it's not very humid right now like i said it is in the evening time so hopefully if you do hear some birds or some little crickets going, I hope it's relaxing to you and not too distracting. So now I'm just going ahead and vacuuming the carpet. So I'm going over it rather, I don't want to say rather quickly, but just like a normal vacuum. And then I was watching Amanda from This Crazy Life and she was doing the slow vacuuming so now i'm showing you all the nastiness that came out of the rug but um, time to switch that laundry over so i'm going to go ahead and do that before i hop back into the living room but anyways i was watching amanda from this crazy life and she was doing slow vacuuming in her home i think it was the utah home that i saw her doing it and I used to do that all the time in our first home because we had carpet. But whenever we moved into this house, the whole entire house is tile except, well, it's all tile, but I have my area rugs in some of the rooms. And I just completely forgot about doing slow vacuuming until I was watching one of her videos. So I was like, you know, I need to do that on my area rugs and see, you know, what kind of nastiness I can get up out of it. So that's what I'm doing here is just slow vacuuming. And this is not sped up or anything right here. I wanted you to see really how slow I was going. And wait until you see the canister of what I picked up by slow vacuuming. And this was after I already vacuumed it doing a regular vacuum.
This is so disgusting. Here it is. This is what came out of the rug from slow vacuuming. So I highly recommend if you have carpet or even if you have area rugs in your home to do slow vacuuming. And I guarantee you, you will be just as shocked as I was to see what would come out of your rug. And these area rugs are not very thick at all. They're a very low pile area rug. So I was really stunned at how much stuff came out of that rug by slow vacuuming. So now I'm going to go ahead and shampoo the area rug. I'm going to be using my Hoover Power Dash Pets. I love this shampooer. This is my very first carpet cleaner that I've ever owned. I've always just kind of been a little intimidated by them. And this one is so easy to use. I absolutely love it. I got this one from Target. I was trying to get it from Walmart and I was going to do a pickup and they kept saying that they didn't have them. They were out of stock. But my sister-in-law went that same exact day, same Walmart, and she said they had like eight or nine of them on the end caps. So that really ticked me off. Anyways, if you saw really quick there, there's some pink stuff on the rug. This was part of a toy that Amelia got for her birthday. It's actually hair chalk that you take a strand of your hair and you run it down this little compact thing and it turned your hair pink. Really cool. We loved it. However, it started breaking up out of the compact and it ended up getting all over the rug. So I'm using that same OxyClean that you saw me using earlier to do um, the laundry. I was spraying it on Kaysen's bibs. So now I'm just spraying it on the rug and the hair chalk came up so easily. I absolutely love whenever I can find a product that is meant for one thing, but I can find other uses for it like this OxyClean. It's amazing. And I don't know what happened to my first clip of me actually shampooing the front part of the rug there but I lost it somewhere I have no idea so you're actually seeing me uh, shampoo just the half of the rug I promise I did shampoo the whole rug <laughs> So going back to this carpet cleaner, whenever I purchased this, it was actually on sale and I want to say it was like $80 or something, uh, maybe a little bit more expensive, but it wasn't over a hundred. I know that. Um, I don't know what the price of it is now. I will look for it on Amazon or if I can find it on Target or Walmart, then I'll link it down in the description. But like I said, it's really easy to use. It's lightweight. The only thing that I don't like about it 
is it doesn't have an attachment to where I can take that off and shampoo something smaller or like say shampoo my sofa or something which is okay because normally I just take the cushion covers off and wash those but it would be nice to have that attachment to where I could pull it off and shampoo like the back of the sofa or whatever. So if you were wondering what I was doing there, Kaysen was starting to get a little bit fussy. So I went ahead and put my Lily Baby Carrier on. This was actually the carrier that I used for Amelia and I hung on to it for this many years. I don't know why, but thank God I did. Um, but I just put him in it, but then he was getting a little bit fussier. So I ended up having to take him out of it completely and just hold him in my arm while I finished up shampooing the carpet. He loves to be held, but he must be facing out. He does not like to be facing towards you whenever you're holding him. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop. And here I am. I did go ahead and take him out and this is how he likes to be carried. So this is real mom life right here, y'all. <laughs> Shampooing your carpets while holding a baby on your hip. <laughs> that it seems like that's a country song or something, right? Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, you are, you are. As I was cleaning the carpet, I saw another little streak of the pink hair chalk, and I'm trying to find it now because I could not find it. It took me a minute to find it. So I did go ahead and spray the OxyClean on it, scrubbed it a little bit with the toothbrush, and it came right up. And I'm just gonna take the shampooer and just kind of go over it a little bit just to make sure that it gets dry and gets all the OxyClean soaked up off of it. All right, so the pink came off after using the OxyClean. I should have just put that on first and kind of let it sit for a little bit, but it did come off on all the spots. So, yay. Let's see, there was spots down here. It came off there. All of it came off. The only spot that didn't do really well was the orange spot that was right here. You can see it's still kind of yellowish i'm not sure i thought it was marker but who knows but i'm happy with it so i'm just gonna let the rug dry little man is getting upset i'm gonna have to take an intermission and then i'll start on the tile floor so if you thought the canister of the vacuum was gross after slow vacuuming look at this water y'all this is like black this is disgusting I just can't believe how dirty that was. Absolutely crazy. So now the carpet's pretty much dry. Whenever I do shampoo the rugs, I like to go ahead and turn the ceiling fan on and have it turned on high. To me, it I feel like it just helps it uh, dry a little quicker. It just circulates the air better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place the furniture all back in place where it goes. And then I will start in on cleaning the tile floors. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Bissell Crosswave. I haven't used this machine in a long, long time. I love the machine whenever I do use it. However, the cleanup process is kind of cumbersome. And 
I have so much tile. It's such a big area of tile. I'm constantly having to empty the dirty canister, fill up the clean canister, but I do love it whenever I use it. If you're not familiar with the Bissell Crosswave, it is like a vacuum and a mop in one. It vacuums your tiles and it mops them all at the same time. And it has a separate canister for the dirty water whenever you're sucking it up and a separate canister for your cleaning solution, which whenever I use this, I use my Thieves household cleaner all-purpose cleaner whatever it's called um it's it's not the thieves oil it's the thieves what is it called daily cleaner or something i can't remember what it's called now but anyways it comes in the plastic bottles and it's highly concentrated so just a little bit goes a long way in the container So I'm just showing you here the actual speed that I use the Bissell Crosswave because as you're vacuuming, you're putting out the cleaner, the cleaning solution onto your tile. So whenever you go backwards, when you pull it towards you, that is when it's sucking up the water. So you want to go kind of slow so that it um, dries your floors and you don't have to worry about the floors being super wet and it's getting all that dirty water off of your floors. So I go pretty slow whenever I use this particular machine. And using the Thieves Cleaner, it made the whole entire house just smell so good. And that smell, that scent lasted for a couple of days. I love using that cleaner. So I had to stop for just a minute and grab a couple of wet paper towels because the hair chalk, somehow a piece of it, got caught in the cross wave where the roller brush is and it was streaking it across the tile and on the grout. So I had to clean that off of the cross wave and off of the grout. I love the hair chalk and it was fun while we used it. We both colored our hair pink, but let me tell you, whenever it started breaking up and falling out of that compact, it made a mess everywhere. Luckily, it cleaned up very easily. So a week or so ago, maybe a couple weeks, I don't know, I was watching a video on Jamie's journey. She was talking about how many vacuum cleaners that she owns. And <laughs> I had to stop and think, how many vacuum cleaners do I have? I currently have five vacuum cleaners. But if you count this Bissell Crosswave, because it kind of sort of is a vacuum cleaner, then I would count that as six vacuum cleaners. I know that is absolutely insane. Uh, one vacuum cleaner, though, was gifted to me by a company. They wanted me to review it. Yeah, whenever I thought about it, I had to laugh because I have five, six if you want to count the Bissell Crosswave, but five vacuum cleaners. And that's actually a running joke with my husband because every time we we go into like Home Depot or something I always slow down when I'm walking past the vacuum cleaners I don't know what it is but I love vacuum cleaners so I'm curious how many vacuum cleaners do you own and do you have this 
infatuation with vacuum cleaners like I do? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so my Walmart grocery order just arrived. It's everything for the 4th of July. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the groceries up and then clean up the kitchen. There's, I think there's some clean dishes in the dishwasher. I know that I have a bunch of bottles to wash from Kaysen going to daycare yesterday. Um, and then I'll do the floors in here and I'll do the floors in the Florida room. And I think that's gonna be it. It is now 8.23 in the evening. I am starting to wear down. I'm a little tired. I've had to stop several times. Um, obviously to take care of a baby. So I forgot what it's like trying to clean house all day when you have a little one, <laughs> an itty bitty one. So that's the plan. So anyways, let's go ahead and put all these groceries away and then clean up this kitchen. So I did actually film all of these groceries in a grocery haul. So if you wanna see that, you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it up in the iCards and I'll also put it down in the description if you wanna see what kind of stuff we bought for that day. Um, it was actually everything, most of it was for the 4th of July, which again, I was sick and did not get to have 4th of July at our house. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unload the dishwasher and put all of those dishes away. This is actually a chore of Isabella's, but she was getting ready for bed and I just wanted to get it done. This is a chore that I absolutely despise doing. I don't mind loading the dishwasher up, but I cannot stand putting the dishes away. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but I just don't like putting the dishes up. I remember as a kid, we had a dishwasher and this was one of mine and my sister's chores was to wash the dishes, put them in the dishwasher and everything. And funny story, oh my goodness, it was hilarious. We, I was doing the dishes. I don't know where my sister was, but I was putting the soap into the dishwasher. Well, I grabbed the wrong one and I actually used just regular uh, dish soap let me tell you <laughs> huge mistake um, that dishwasher got so soapy literally suds was just pouring out of the dishwasher and we had like indoor outdoor carpet in the kitchen I don't know why my parents decided to put indoor outdoor carpet in a kitchen I have no idea don't ask I have no idea but that carpet was soaking wet and when i went in to check on the dishwasher i saw all those suds and bubbles and i hollered for my dad and i was like daddy i don't know what's wrong with the dishwasher it's overflowing and he came in and was like what did you do and i was like i put the soap in it and i showed him what i used oh my goodness it took forever to clean up all of those suds that was just it was awful i i didn't get in trouble because i think it was just one of those things that was like you were shocked that it happened and you know everything was okay it didn't tear up the dishwasher or anything but it was just so funny and we think about that and just laugh about it all the time so that's my funny story from when i was a kid <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting all of the bottles and everything and I cannot stand washing the bottles. I was hand washing them for quite a while because I don't know, I just feel weird putting them in the dishwasher. I just feel like it still has soap 
taste or something on it. I don't know. But finally, I was like, you know what? That's crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the dishwasher because they those bottles have so many parts to them. I just can't stand washing them by hand anymore. So I just put them in the dishwasher when I have like four or five bottles to do. So now I'm just going to head over into the little breakfast area, clean the table off. I'm going to spray it down and wipe it down really good. This table was actually my dad's table in his house, and whenever he passed away, um, I tried selling the table on Facebook Marketplace, but no one was wanting it. It was actually in uh, really good condition. I mean, it was like brand new. He never used it. And whenever we sold our first home, I had one of those countertop height tables it was solid oak it was gorgeous and the buyers of that home asked if we could leave it so we did and we didn't have a table except for our big dining room table so we ended up getting this out of storage and it has been very well loved i don't know if you could tell you could see the markers and stuff like that on it but it has been a very well loved table i would like to get something different um, like maybe a rectangular table i don't know i really want to reconfigure the kitchen but you know that's like tons of money so <laughs> that probably won't ever happen but now i'm going to go ahead and just clean off all the countertops and i'm going to wipe down the stove top there and i just used the mrs myers again i just sprayed that on there i wasn't doing a like a deep clean of it of the count or the stove top but just to you know kind of shine it up a little bit So this little countertop is Kaysen's area where I put his bottles and his bottle warmer and everything. And that pink Vera Bradley diaper bag was the one that I had for Amelia. I love that diaper bag. Whenever we got Kaysen, uh, we did have a backpack style diaper bag and I like that. I like the backpack style, but this particular one just didn't really hold its shape and it was just really soft and mushy and things just didn't stay organized very well inside so I went ahead and got my Vera Bradley back out and was using it and I thought that it was kind of funny you know here Kaysen is a boy but I'm using a pink diaper bag but then I thought you know what I'm a girl though so I'm gonna use my pink bag absolutely love it things stay organized in it I love it so I'm going to go ahead and use Bar Keeper's Friend to clean out the sink. I'm going to give it a really good scrub. I haven't done this in a while. So I'm going to just gonna give it a really good scrub and get it all shined up.
So whenever I do a nice scrub on the sink, I feel like it's not actually completed until you dry it and make it really shiny then. So I'm just using my e-cloth uh, glass polishing cloth, I think is what it's called. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make up a bottle for Kaysen. This will be his morning bottle. It's just so much easier to already have it in the bottle and ready to go. All I have to do is put it in the bottle warmer and it'll be done and ready. So the kitchen is all cleaned up and it looks so nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into cleaning the floors. These floors were absolutely disgusting. They were so gross. It had been quite a while since I had mopped them or anything. And again, I'm just gonna be using that same Bissell Crosswave to vacuum and mop the floors. So if you have made it this far in the video, God bless you. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know this is a longer video, but it's really hard to condense it like I want to say it was about six hours of footage that I had to condense and edit. So it took me quite a while to edit this video and, you know, plus having the baby and everything, I'm just really trying to work on a schedule of when I can fit everything in because I'm working out again and I really want to keep doing the YouTube and it's just crazy, but thank you so much for still watching. So one of my friends that's on YouTube, her name is Brittany. She has uh, two channels, Brittany Nicole, and then Cleaning Through the Chaos. She always likes to have people put down their favorite emoji or something like that down in the comments if you've made it so far into her videos, which I love. So if you are still listening, still watching, Put your favorite emoji down in the comments and let me know where you're from, what state you live in, and let me know what your least favorite chore is in the house. So here's the water from the cross wave. This was from all of the floors. That is so gross, so gross. Look at all that sand and dirt and everything. And we really don't wear shoes in the house that often. Sometimes if we're like in a hurry and we gotta run through the house to get something, we'll have our shoes on. But you know, having them on all the time, we don't do that. But so gross, so, so gross. <laughs> So I'm gonna close out the video here. Thank you again so much for watching my videos, subscribing. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. Click on that notification bell. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And again, if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for bearing with me while I figure out a good schedule of when to post videos and when to edit them. And I hope you have a wonderful day and you get some things checked off of your to-do list. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.